shot on it. Hey, he's got me now. He's got me now. This is a big fish. This is a good starfish, this one. Nice Coming fish. Up again. Woo! Solid sail. Let's hope he jumps a bit. Here he comes. He's gonna come up again now. There he is. Oh, yes. Throwing everything he's been yeah. eating out. He's gonna jump. A bimini twist on the end of the mono provides a loop for a loop-to-loop -loop connection to the wind-on leader, which is a 150 pound mono and approximately six meters in length. At the end of the wind-on leader is a snap swivel joined to a meter and a half of 100 pound trace, which enables a quick release beside the boat. Snelled onto the end of this trace is a mustard circle hook. So this is one of the new mustard circle hooks. As you can see, it's non-offset. Um, the point is actually in line with the shank of the hook. Some circle hooks are offset, but um, the non-offset, non obviously, A, it's better for trolling, your bait's less likely to spin, and of course, um, it's also better for the fish. Um, there's very little likelihood of a fish being gut hooked with a non-offset hook, and um, as we've shown, they can vary. Uh, every time it'll get hooked in the corner of the mouth, which is what we're trying to achieve. Release the fish in the best possible manner. Bridal rig baits are very effective on a wide range of species. Simply pass a bait needle through the nose of the bait, threaded with a loop of Dacron in this case, but wax thread or even a rubber band can be used. Pass the hook through the end of each loop, twist the hook a couple of times, and then back through the main loop. It's then locked into place. This is a quick and simple method of rigging whole fish baits. It can pay to slip a couple of baits out the back as you keep catching more. Dave loves this style of fishing. In his competent hands, a slimy mackerel was quickly and efficiently bridle rigged to a mustard circle hook and fed back into the water. This is a great way of presenting these baits. Nice, quick, easy way to rig him, eh? Let's see if we can turn him into a sailfish. 